My name is Dustin Williams and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. This is the first tier Evo that we've put our cars in in years. Oh, that is sick. It has the front lip that I want. Uh, today is Tuner Evo Anaheim, and I could not be any more excited. Not only is this my favorite car show of the year, but it's in our home state, and we are going to have so much fun today. We have made it in the Legends booth for the first show of 2021. We really wanted to elevate our booth space when we come and do these things and make it a little bit cooler. So we got some wire racks. We actually have like this little t-shirt and hoodie rack. It's really, really cool. Uh, so that you guys can have like a better shopping experience. You know, it's like a little, a little automotive boutique. Boutique, you know, Tim? So we literally just washed the Evo. This is from one mile of driving just on one wheel. <laughs> That's all the dirt. Yeah, that's insane. That's nuts. So we're just getting uh, a couple of things finalized here, getting the cars clean. It is, let's see what time is it? It is 9.45 right now and the show doesn't start till 12. So we still have a little bit left to go. Tiana is getting the crew some Chick-fil-A. We have Brian Supra at the booth as well. Brian's on. What up? The Supra is looking amazing. What's poppin', dude? Do you want to give us a little sneak peek at the new mods that you just got? Sure, 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 sure. The new, uh, I mean, the, boys. the big one is the brakes. So, uh, sticking with the Gretty theme, Gretty everything. Kenji. Look at these things. Up. These brakes. Dude, those are so sick. And rotors. So, some endless goodies. Brian some, Supra is the real deal. Coming this together, man. Awesome. It's coming together. So. so, we're gonna have a really fun day, a really long day, but it's gonna be super cool. The event is packed. This might be the busiest one that I've gone to in the, in, the, in the past year. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the Legends booth. We got a 33, we've got the entire setup, like I said. I just think it looks so cool. I'm so proud of um, the growth and stuff that we've done throughout the shows and all of the stuff that we've done with the booth. It's really cool, and then we have the Evo over here too. So while we have the chance and it's still pretty empty, we want to go check out a lot of the cars because as you got, if you watch the Tuner Evo videos, you know it gets packed in here, it gets loud. It's kind of hard to film. So before all that happens, we're gonna go walk around and check out some cars, specifically one that I want to go see, the 33. Look at this guy. There's another Midnight Purple 33 in here. 
and this thing is freaking dope. Brian was telling me a little bit of backstory about actual car. The owner of this car actually lived in Japan, was military, right, Brian? If this is the same car, then yeah, the owner owned it in Japan. And it even has the front end that I want. So this is the actual lip and the canards that we're getting for the 33. Um, but yeah, he lived in Japan, built this thing out in Japan. Absolutely nuts. And one of the coolest things on the car. But I really, really like this wing, whatever it is. Yeah, what is this? That's the real question. This is like a, I think it's like a top secret style wing. It's freaking sick. Because it sick. goes from the outside up. Yeah. I don't know. Look at that. This is something that I really like for my 33 too. That is rad. But yeah, very cool R33 here. Another uh, Midnight Purple bro. Oh, he got, he got to keep his plates. That's cool. Usually you can't do that. Look at Big Boy. Hold on. Before you do anything, Big Mike, get set up first. Get ready for the vlog. You're on camera. Okay. You look beautiful. Thank you. Again. This is Mike's prelude. This thing is sick. I appreciate you, Dustin and Dustin's people. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're doing this together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will do so. Um, shout out to uh, you guys for uh, being here at TE. I, Dustin, I see you everywhere in the United States. Mike is my car show dad. I, I Don't we resemble each other? I mean, do you guys see the resemblance? Height similarity, skin color similarity, yeah, yeah, facial hair similarity. Right. It's identical, really, if you really think about it. Unless you're a racist. If you didn't see it, you're, you might be a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Vlog's over, guys, so. <laughs> okay, you gotta cut that. Okay. Uh, I'm the host of the event, so I get to kind of just put my car here away from everyone so it's kind of cool you give us a little run this thing is sweet man um, give us a little uh, run down. okay so you know a lot of people kind of think of it as a prelude it's an atypical chassis especially for honda guys but really a chassis is just a canvas if you take the time to study the people that came before you look it up whether it's magazines forums social media pull inspiration from any place patience execution and details when when applied to any chassis and you can make something that will build a legacy and be a legend so, um, I decided to use one of the chassis I had. I've had EGs, I've had EF, CRXs, I have an Accord wagon, I have a few other projects. But I had a Prelude, and so about 15 years ago I did version 1. Uh, I was blessed to make the cover of a Honda Tuning magazine. Four years later, redid it. Completely different color, ITBs, etc. Made the cover then, redid it this time, competed at Seamless Battle of the Builders, became a finalist um, with an import against, you know, mega hot rods and stuff. So it was a really, really cool thing for that world to appreciate patience, execution, and detail applied to in this case a front-wheel drive Japanese car that is so cool like this is the definition of OG builder like someone that I look up to in the car industry and who I hope to be someday for somebody maybe watching the video or the younger generation to like build cars that you just dropped a bomb on everybody watching this video and I love it because you worded it perfectly that's Thanks, awesome Dustin I mean guys honestly you know there's this whole new generation that follow people like Dustin on YouTube in my generation it was before social media so it's a really amazing thing to see the world come together via social media and you know Dustin you have such a powerful way to positively affect these people and that's why I support you and your content because you're not just doing donuts and burnouts and all this like you know flash and, and you, you know you do things you go to the track you hit different eras and builds and it's just really cool man and i mean brian's just you're just this really tall you know iron deficient friend of mine i really want you to supplement more <laughs> and eat healthier <laughs> and uh you know i mean hey so okay quick rundown it is an f20b not an h22 f20b is effectively a d-stroked h22 from an accord in japan revs higher because i was going to turbocharge it i didn't need that 20 to 40 pounds of torque that it would come with normally if it was a 2.2 2 liter revs higher the turbocharger a very small garrett gtx on purpose because you don't need mega power it's not a drag car everyone sees these monster turbos you don't need that a gtx 2863 it spins out the same time the motor spins out so i make my peak torque at 4400 rpm and it stays there which is absolutely wonderful for road courses and the street you don't need to just spool and only make power at seven to nine thousand so the power band's very fluid um and i'm very happy with the way it performs what yeah, i wanted beautiful what i wanted this to be was effectively everything's one-off the chassis is not one-off it's not a coach built car but from the swirl pod and the surge tank the bottom mount turbo setup uh, the in the intake box the duct through the Japanese headlight into a K&N filter. Whoa, I didn't even notice that. You know, a very special piece goes in right here. You know, and, and just different, you know, even this, my boy Shay lathed me a one-off dipstick, 
Ryan and myself at Rywire, we made this one-off cam trigger. So I actually read timing off of the crankshaft and the camshafts. So it's the most accurate way you could even do it with a standalone. In this case, I'm using an AM Infinity. So it's just a lot of custom pieces that all function the same as if you bought shelf stuff, but they're mine. I got to design them, work with fabricators and lathers and fiberglass. The car's wide-bodied using OEM shaping, so you can't even tell the car's wide, but it's wide. Didn't even know. There's so much more. Um, and that's really what it's about is the car from a distance is like, oh, what's that? But the details keep you while you're here. And, and that is that's awesome. what it's about. This is so, like, this caliber, like, this is what I aspire to do in, you know, my car building career way, or whatever, man. you know, like, you are Mike embodies way. it and I really appreciate him taking me under his wing. Uh, we go to all these different events together and we have all these nice talks and it's, it's just really cool. It, the only thing difficult about Dustin as far as putting him under my wing is that he's taller than I am. So it's the under the wing part, it's just a figure of speech. But other than, and then Brian, I just, it doesn't work, but we're <laughs> friends. So anyways, listen, you know, you guys, I appreciate you. Dustin, we're walking around TE. We're kicking off 2022 together. The whole year is going to be lit because we're kicking it off together as an automotive community at TE 2022. I'm the host and I'm excited to be here and for you to watch this. Boom! Good Lord, I need a cough drop after that. One day, guys. You actually saw this car in the daily vlogs when we went to Gretti. This is the Tech, Tech Arts 86 built by Mastermind. The guy should be here today, but every time I see this car, I just can't help but fall in love. It is beautiful. This is it. This is everything I could ever want. Look at this. When I get my next Type R, when I eventually get the next Type R, this is exactly how I want to build it. I mean, look at the Jays Racing front end that it has. Everything that they've come out recently with the Type R's is just, it's insane. Um, so much new stuff. The T's with the, the beefy tires back here, like, this is everything that I could want. Jays Racing wing. Wow. This thing is like completely Jays Racing spec'd out. Oh, and Cusco Cajun? Damn. Guys, this thing is like, this is it. This is complete and total gold. But the question is, do I wait until the new Type R or get the older Type R? I just, I don't know. I need help. Help me. You guys ask me all the time if I'm ever gonna do an RX-7. I don't ever like have like the, like burning want or desire to do an RX-7, but if I ever did, I would have to do an RX-7 FC. I think FC is what I kind of gravitate more towards than the FD, uh, and this is a really clean example of one. You guys know by now how I kind of build my cars with a little more of an aggressive track style stance, but nonetheless, this thing is very, very clean. I would just have to like prepare myself for the rotary problems, but it would be cool. Quick little pre-car show meal here. Chick-fil-A breakfast is always the move. Egg white grill, chicken, no cheese. It's the best. We've got the first dudes at the booth. Thank you guys so much. These guys drove five hours, right? Uh -huh. A little, little boy trip. We did it. <laughs> That's dope, dude. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Thank you. Let's see this thing, dude. Super OG. That's yeah. crazy, man. Is that my signature already? Yeah, when I went to your. Uh, oh, thing that's in June. right. Yeah. That's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Well, thank you guys for coming by, and I hope you guys yeah. have an awesome show. You ready? Yep. Okay. Too? Hell yeah, man. Hey. You know me. You made me get into cars, bro. That's I got my FRS because of you, bro. That's dope, dude. dude Thank so you, man. The show is finally getting to start right now. Getting to meet some of you guys is awesome. My man's a VIP member. Yeah, Dang, dude. <laughs> good, man. Thank, Thank you. you so, bro. this is my favorite part getting to hang out with you guys, meet all you guys at the booth. So, we're gonna have some fun today. 
Guys, we finally found the owner of the 33. What's your name, dude? Dear. Dear, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dude, your car is so sick. We were literally just going over that at the beginning of the video. It is awesome. Whenever we get done right here, I'm going to stop by your car. Right. I need a walk around. All right, that, definitely, sick. definitely. I appreciate yeah, it. Man, Can you, you sign my fuse box cover, though? Are you sure? Yeah. That's a go in your car? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I probably, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, blocks okay? Okay, here we go. Oh, it works. Oh. Perfect. There you go, man. Perfect. Thank you, dude. Hey, so you were stationed it. in Japan, right? Uh, Okinawa. Wow. Yeah, I wish I was on mainland, but yeah, the car scene's wild. Like, you know, you, I yeah. see your videos, you go to Japan, so. But yeah, man. That's sick, man. I'm gonna stop by the car in just a bit, okay? Nice to meet you, dude. Yep. Dude has worn this thing out, bro. What are you doing? I think it's time for a new one. <laughs> no, no, memories. <laughs> Hook him on man up with a new jet tag. Oh god, you need oh. this, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> That's awesome though, dude. Thank you so much, man. Opening. <laughs> Everybody's been asking about the secret car. I'm gonna try and get the guesses from here on out. What do you guys think the secret car is? Uh, car delivering tofu. Tofu probably, yeah. Tofu probably? Tofu, yeah. Maybe I'm a part of the Red Suns. That's true, that's true. Damn. <laughs> Thank Thanks for having me. Kevin and Michelle, these two crazy people came all the way from Maryland and Okay, for context here, we're in Anaheim. Anaheim's right next to Disneyland. Yeah. They're skipping Disneyland and went straight to Pepperland. Yeah, we just came here to see Dustin and Tiana. And Sparko, but he didn't come. I know, yeah. All right, babe. And I'm going to the hotel. I was like, I'm tired. Let's go to the hotel. He's like, no, nah, but like pepper lunch. Is, our pepper lunch is like 20 yeah, minutes Yeah, we had to go to pepper lunch. Go. Dustin said it was the best, so we got to go. That's the attraction. Yes, this is what I need from you guys. That's so great. Thank you for coming. Yeah, absolutely. you keep going one more oh nice oh. <laughs> boom and you get to keep that one how about that okay sweet man. How's it going? I'm here. Quick break. We are both about to fall asleep, but it's fine. We're fine. We're having fun. Taking and our break. Take it, taking our regularly our, our regular scheduled break every Tunibro car show to check out some cars mid-show. Uh, so I'm just walking around with T a little bit here. And we found one of my favorite model Civics. Very nice. So yeah, we're just gonna look around, see some of, show you guys some of the cars that we like. I really want to show Tiana the red type R that we found earlier to further pressure her into letting me buy another Type R. I still haven't made the decision if I'm gonna wait for the new Type R or just get one of the Okay, but hold ones. on, you say the new Type R, is it a new body style? Is, yes. it, is there anything new? Every, everything is, they haven't officially released anything yet, okay. but everything is new. Okay. It's gonna be sick. Right. Supposedly, it's the most raw version of the Type R that Honda has ever made. Which, to me, sounds pretty cool. All right. So, I'm excited for it. Does it come out this year? I hope. Oh, we don't know. There's been a lot we of really spot. There's know. been a lot of spy photos of it, so we're hoping. Yeah. Someone's leaking some photos. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, I don't know how I missed this earlier today, but we found a Millennium Jade Hako. It's not a GTR. We want, we want a GTR, but this thing is freaking sick. Wow. Million subs, guys. Million subs. We're almost there. This is 
so freaking cool. It is. Hold on. One day. Center cap. Brian, I need the Hako, man. I got you. Just GTR. The thing is, guys, if you're watching this, I need you to know you need to buy more things from legends.media backslash store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need to, first of all, you guys need to subscribe so we can get to a million subs. Exactly. So we can get the hot girl. Right. Yeah, let's retry that again. <laughs> Don't buy anything. Let's get Dustin to a million subs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Honestly, dude, when you hit a million subs, I was gonna be a, it'll be like, it'll probably be like the firstborn son I'll never have being born. It's gonna be really cool and I look forward to it, dude. And we're gonna get you the coolest taco ever. We're gonna throw a party. Yeah, we are? We're gonna throw a party. Yeah, we're gonna throw a party. We found the owner of the FC RX-7, the one that I was talking to you guys a little bit earlier about, dude. I love these things. Uh, thank and uh, you, this is Jalen's car right here. Uh, Do you wanna give us a little walk around of this real fast? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So this is my 1990 uh, RX-7 FC. Nice. Yeah, this is it's a fun car, definitely. Um, so the only thing that's stopping me from getting an RX-7 is, have you had rotary problems? Like, has this car given you any issues or? No, honestly, I have no rotary problems. I, like, when I first got the car, like, the previous owner had put, like, a two-step revolver mirror in it. Okay. I tried it, and it was, like, on stock ECU, it blew the motor. Oh, So that no. was, like, the only problem I ever had. So do you have a built motor yeah, in here now? motor now. Nice. Yeah, so. Sick, man. So it's crazy how small these things are. Yeah. So I swapped the, uh, it was fuel injection, obviously, but I swapped it to the ITVs. So I'm running the Racing Beat Webers. They're 51 Webers. Yeah, and I'm running a semi-peripheral port and a half bridge port. Nice, yeah. this is sick, man. What do you think? So much room for activities. <laughs> yeah. This is sick, dude. Thank yeah. you so much, Appreciate man. It, man. Super clean on the Meisters. Yeah. Look at this. Damn. I love, I love Japan guys. All the Japan guys, you know, they run the Meisters, and I'm a huge fan of their builds. So they really inspired me. So that's, that's why awesome. I got the yeah, Meister. That's, that's what I do too. I follow a lot of uh, Japanese builds on, like for my GTRs, and uh, I look at what they're running, kind of get my style into that. And like, this is really crazy. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank you course. for everything, man. Of course. Well, this is it. We are closing down shop here. We are packing everything up. As always, you guys were amazing today. Thank you for all of the goodies and stuff. We got some really cool stuff including this guy. This is really, really cool. Brian actually got me this. Where's Brian? I, I have to say thank you for this. It's yep. amazing. We have to say what? Thank you for this. You have to say what? I got the guys Ross. Oh! <laughs> I got the guys Ross. <laughs> See, keep- the little Japanese in every vlog. Yes, friends keeping me in line with that. No, but Brian got me this. This is really cool. So we were just packing everything up. It was an awesome, awesome show. I have to show you guys this. Tim pointed this out to me. Uh, today was a very eventful day for photos. I've never. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I haven't had a car in Tuner Evo in so long, but lots of, um, lots of, let's just say, uh, models taking pictures on the no, car. It was like a full shoot, okay? <laughs> the guy had a light and everything. We literally have a butt cheek mark yeah, on the car. Right, I really right, hope the right here. I, I don't know if the lighting will show it. If you come here, there's like a, a glare. Oh, there's a glare. Yeah, oh, there it is. You can see it. You see the triangle? We have a butt cheek mark on the Tokyo Show Evo. <laughs> Dude, this thing has been the highlight of the show. It has. It was really cool to see. That's awesome. So we definitely have to go home and clean the cars, but yeah. that just means today was an awesome, awesome day. And it's because of you guys. I really appreciate it. Tuner Evo and Ham was a success. So we are going to close down and we are starving, so we're going to grab some food too. There's one last build before we go that I want to take a look at. Everybody, this is D'Air. This is, uh, we, fi we finally found the owner and you have a really cool story with this car, right? Yeah, so uh, I got it in 2020. I was stationed in Okinawa, Japan. Uh, so I, knew, I only went to Japan for the car, so I knew what car I was going to get as soon as I landed. The first day I landed, first day I landed, I went straight to Dream Run, <laughs> bought the car. So I've had it That's ever awesome, since. man. So yeah. can you give us a little walk around? Can we see under the hood? It, uh, it's, it's completely stock. I mean, no, it's not completely it, stock. It looks sick under there. It's got a gold valve cover. That's, about, that's all you'll be able to see on it. How much power does it make? Uh, it's probably pushing uh, FHKS GTSS uh, turbos. So they're maxed out right now and they're rated for 500 horsepower. Wow, so nice. probably around. Come around there. I haven't gotten dyno yet. Just got it back in the States uh, November 1st. Dude, it's sick, man. So, I yeah. like the gold cover. Oh, yeah. So, gold valve covers, uh, R35 coal packs, uh, HKS cams, Tomei cam gears, 
Uh, Nismo, yeah. Nismo uh, fuel injectors. Uh, what else? That's it sounds pretty sick, I'm guessing, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got a RC full titanium uh, exhaust. So, RC and Tomei. I, I'm, what I read is they're made in the same factory. So, same size that's as Tomei. Sick, dude. But, yeah. I, so, this front lip and the canard setup, that's what I really want for my GTR as yeah. well. So, is this auto select? Yeah, so auto select front lip. Auto, so, so, it's the auto select devil yeah. front lip. And then auto select canards. So. That's so sick. Did you get those in Japan as well? Yeah. Dude, so, I'm so jealous. Dude, you're I'm so jealous. So clean though. Like <laughs> Okinawa was out I was actually out of all the 33s, I was the first to get one. Because everyone else was like, I don't know what they're gonna look like. Sure. So I got it and then after that everyone started getting the PR. Because <laughs> they look freaking yeah, sick, dude. Person, That's they awesome. Look, they look a lot better. Uh top secret uh style two rear diffuser. Nice. With the vortex generators. Yeah, it looks really good, dude. What about your side skirts? These are nice. Uh, so those are just side skirt extensions. Nice, um, okay. Uh, while I was getting my car uh, shipped over, I was waiting for it. That's when you started like doing the 33 videos. Yeah. So I'm like, I missed my 33 so bad. And then you you got your personal steering wheel. Yeah. And I ordered one right right before you uh, posted the video. Uh -huh. I was like, oh my god, I got a personal dude, steering wheel. Dude, it's the best one. Dude, it's so it's yeah. So I, I was like, he likes it. I know I'm gonna like it. So I, I got well, it. That's sick. I fucking love that. Wheel. Well, dude, thank you so much for taking yeah. this for a little walk around. This thing is sick. I'm gonna leave his Instagram on the screen in case you guys want to check this thing out. Really really cool. Lots of good pictures on there. Check it out. Of course, after Tuneriba, we're in OC. We had to come to our favorite spot, Pepper Lunch. We took the whole crew here. We got Des and his wonderful girlfriend here, all the way from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> crazy guys. We got Brian and his girlfriend here too. She's new, so all three of these guys are new. We've been here multiple times, in case you haven't seen it. It's Japanese rice and beef, and you cook it in a hot plate. Brian, it oh, yeah. It's on the of the wrist. Yeah. Brian and I found this place in Japan a couple years ago, and ever since then, it's history. We've come here all the time, and every chance we get in OC, we come to Pepper Lunch. Yeah, that's why they put those things around Somehow there. I would burn cook, it. cook the beef in the hot plate. Come on. Oh yeah, you gotta. Come on. Team Money got me at the jumbo. I'm also getting a facial. <laughs> Well, guys, we have uh, we've made it home. Just finishing up editing today's video, and I, and of course, just like every time, I just had to sit down and say thank you guys so much for making this show amazing. Uh, it seriously blows my mind every single time we go do a Tuner Evo event, and I have you guys come see us at the booth and hang out, talk to you guys about watching the videos and what I've inspired you with doing, and everything else that just. It really blows my mind that I have no other words, but thank you and it means the absolute world to me that you guys support me this much to come out and see me at Tuner Evo and watch the videos and I don't know, I'm just very, very grateful for every single one of you and I want you to know that it does mean the world to me and I'm incredibly humbled every time we get to do this. It's truly incredible and this is just the first one of the year. We're gonna be doing the entire tour so all over the US we're gonna get to see you guys and hang out and it makes me extremely happy getting to do these meet and greets and 
come to all these shows. And it's just crazy because like it's it really is full circle. Before my YouTube ever really even took off or anything like that, I would go to Tuner Evo just for myself as a spectator. And then I was able to bring my car one year. And it's like, it's crazy now to have my own Legends booth here where we're able to take cars, meet you guys, sell some merchandise. It's just absolutely crazy. And it's all because of you. I literally could not do any of this without you guys. So like I said, I'm truly grateful and humbled by it all of you and like I always say this is just the beginning we have so much more planned and so much more room to grow uh, this is just the start and I'm really excited to take everything to the next level this year it's gonna be awesome man you guys are gonna watch every step of it so I just want to say that really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video I know it was a long one hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys enjoy these tuner Evo videos we have a big week coming up uh, some unexpected plans happen and we're taking a cross-country road trip uh, so get ready it's gonna be crazy very unexpected like i said but it's gonna be pretty cool and i'm excited to show you guys so not this week but next week and in that same week we're also revealing the new secret car lots of stuff coming up get ready guys uh once again thank you for watching today's video if you haven't already please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out i will see all you guys for wednesday's video peace out guys mm -hmm.